Well, Pan Province is hoping to attract more than 47,000 tourists during visit Laos year 2024, with estimated spending of 50 billion ki. And on Friday, it kicked off its tourism program in line with the theme of Visit Laos Year, a paradise of Lao culture, nature, and history. Wopan can boost abundance of all elements of this theme, and it is spectacularly endowed with stunning landscapes, a rich culture, and fascinating historical links due to its being the country's revolutionary stronghold. Provincial Governor Dr. Kampang Sesongpeng hosted a ceremony to mark the start of Wopan's Visit Laos Year program, held in Samne District with Minister of Information, Culture and Tourism, Mrs. Son Sawan Menyeket, among those in attendance. Kao. More than 1,000 people attended the ceremony, which coincided with a raft of events organized to launch the program in colorful fashion. These included the Miss Peach Blossom Contest, a cultural show, a marathon run, food items made by local ethnic groups, an exhibition of goods produced under the One District One Product Scheme, and a market fair. Visitors were also able to take photos of peach and sakura blossoms at the Laos Japan Friendship Sakura Park in Vieng Sai District, where the trees are now in full bloom and add a huge splash of color to the winter landscape. According to the provincial governor, Huopan will hold activities each month during Visit Laos Year 2024, including ethnic festivals, traditional Lao New Year celebrations, a boat racing festival, and other events. It is hoped these will bring both Laos and foreign tourists to Huopan in large numbers and also attract potential investors looking to set up businesses. The growth of business would create jobs for local people and help to ease poverty levels in the remote mountainous northern province. Last year, at least 45,000 tourists visited Huopan province, generating more than 32 billion gib in revenue. Hopan Province has funded the development of infrastructure and tourist attractions and is encouraging ministries and other government bodies and Lao and foreign business operators to share in the development of tourism in Hopan. The province's main attraction is the cave system in Vingsai District that housed the revolutionary forces, while they evaded enemy aerial bombardment and spearheaded the countrywide campaign to free Laos from foreign domination. Other places worth visiting are the Nam Nua, Saloi, and Kowon Waterfalls, the hot springs in Hiam District, the Standing Stones Hintang Archaeological Park in Hua Meung District, and Nam Ed Puloi National Park. But travel through any part of the provinces is including essential visits to the provincial capital and Wingside District to see the famed caves will give visitors a very rewarding and educational experience with fascinating sights at every turn of Wopan's winding roads. Provincial authorities are ready to welcome visitors with improved infrastructure, transport and accommodations, all aimed at ensuring people enjoy their visit to this sleepy but intriguing corner of Laos. In addition to infrastructure development, the province is encouraging local authorities and artisans to promote their special brand of handicrafts with woven silk fabrics being the province's main claim to fame in terms of locally produced items. <laughs> 